John here from Right Wave Audio, and for today's video, we're going to talk about oral 3D upmixing with a Denon Marantz receiver or processor. When you have your immersive channels configured as top and not heights, and when you have it in this speaker configuration, you do not have access to oral 3D upmixing. If you have a two channel source, such as with music, and you comb through the various sound modes, you'll start with, of course, a stereo, and then Dolby Surround. Now, Dolby Surround, even configured as top, will bring information up to those top channels and simulate. And then you have DTS Neural X, which will also bring up that information to those top channels. The next one that's presented to you is Oral 2D Surround, not Oral 3D Surround. And this will not bring up information to your top channels unless you configure your system to have height channels. Now, of course, we know the difference as way that Marantz and Denon put in their manuals between a top and a height channel. Now, the top channels are those mounted directly into the ceiling and usually sit a little further away from the front and rear walls. And then you have your height channels, which are mounted on the front and rear walls at the top and is slightly angled down to the listener. Now, we don't have these in the Ripe Wave Audio Theater at this time. So what do we do to kind of fake this out? Is it possible to go into the configuration of my Marantz Cinema 50 receiver and configure what's mounted in the ceiling as a height channel and not a top channel and come out with a desirable effect. This is what we're gonna to learn today. This is easy enough to do with a Denon Marantz processor or receiver and we can go into the setup screen and when we get the setup screen to display here, we will go in and select the speaker configuration. Now when we do the speaker configuration, uh, what we'll want to do this as manual, not an Odyssey setup. So I'll go and select manual. And while I'm in manual, I will see choices for amp assign. Now amp assign is where you go in and tell it whether these are top or height channels. So if we go into amp assign, we will see our current configuration here. And what we have in the RipeWave Audio Theater is a 7.2.4 configuration. Marantz labels these as 11.1 configuration. We can see pictorially on their graphic here that these are indeed ceiling mounted speakers. So what we need to do is bring this down to your height section. Now we have a four channel height system. Uh, you might have two channels. And we can then go down to the front layout and change this from top front to front height. And when we go to that, we can now see these are mounted on the wall pictorially. Now we want to do the same for the rear. So change it from a top rear connection to a rear height configuration. And now we have all four of the upper channels mounted to the walls in a height configuration. So with this done, we will get out of this. We'll hear the relays click in the receiver and we will go back to our music source and then we will look at the options present. Before we were stuck at Oral 2D and we'll cycle through this again, Dolby Surround, Neural X, and now we have Oral 3D. So moving this from a top to a height configuration for both front and rear has unlocked the ability to do oral 3D. So what do we do to test this out? We put on some two channel music from Apple Music and we listen to this uh, first with all the speakers going, but then I listen to it in isolation. Now our test rig over here allows me to just simply cut out everything but the height channels. So with everything cut out except for the, the height channels, I can actually just focus on what information is being sent up to those height channels. And when we do this comparison against Dolby Surround, DTS Neural X, 
and Oral 3D upmixing, I notice a really stark difference. Now, going from Dolby Surround to DTSX, uh, Neural X, uh, the difference is more subtle. Those two are, are kind of similar. You get this real kind of reverb effect, kind of like it's off in the distance at a much lower volume than what you have on your, your base la layer, your bed layer channels, particularly your front. Uh, and it sounds like more of an echo, a little more instrumental than vocal on them. But when I switch it to Oral 3D, is a big difference in how that is processing to those height channels. And what I hear is it's, it's a fuller sound. There is less of that great reverb. It's a little more upfront. It's a, a more of a copy of what we have on the bed layer channels. And it's clearer. I think comparing it to DTSX, uh, Neural X, that seems a little muffled in, in my opinion. The other thing I've noticed is, with particularly with DTS uh, Neural X, is it seems to cut in and out. Uh, you'll hear that, that the simulation isn't consistent. This <laughs> reminds me of the days back when we had um, encoded uh, Dolby Surround in the 80s there, and, and you had that simulated rear channel derived from the the front two speakers, and that would cut in and out. Uh, the Oral 3D mix, uh, the, what they've done there for the up mixing, is more smooth. I don't hear it cutting in and out. So that alone produces a more desirable experience. So I think given the choice between the three of these, and the brief listening I've done all between these three, is Oral 3D, there is going to be moments where I'm going to definitely prefer this over the other two options when I want that full immersive of sound. And my general press preference is to do immersive as much as possible. I want to hear that room filled with sound. I am not so much of a two-channel guy, although I do like listening to music, maybe more than movies here with my system. But I want that to fill the room. And I have a fairly large room. So using these effects at times is going to be my desired way to listen to music. So what do you think? Are you one to listen to uh, two-channel source material in a more immersive uh, way? Are you looking for these up mixers to work and work well? And what do you think about the differences between Dolby Surround, DTS Neural X, and Oral 3D up mixing? And I'll give you one more question here is, if you've heard the difference between Dolby Surround, DTS Neural X, and Oral 3D, what is your preference? Do you like that more distance filling in with a more echoey sound? Or do you like that more upfront presentation, fuller presentation, clearer presentation, that Oral 3D, at least the way I'm hearing it, is presenting itself? And the final question is, do you think it makes much of a difference of whether those speakers are mounted in the ceiling, or do you prefer it being mounted as prescribed in the front and the rear of the room as true height channels? Does that placement make such a difference when you do the Oral 3D experience with the up mixer? That would be very helpful to get that feedback. Uh, I, I imagine it's going to be better once I bring that in, but how much better? That feedback, of course, would be very useful. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to take your involvement to the next level, we have our Patreon channel at www.patreon.com slash ripewave. If you just want to do a one-time donation, that's very helpful as well. Uh, hit the thanks button and you can contribute that way. And of course, regardless, you can hit that bell icon so you are informed when the next video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.